Smiley back, our bullion here. Now today we are going to be pouring another Kilo Plus bar of silver. We poured the first one a couple of weeks ago. Here it is sitting pride of place on my desk until that fateful day I send it off to its new owner. Today though, it is the turn of the shipwreck silver. We have here four 10 ounce Garris Soper bars, well, three full ones and one that I've already chopped in half. And we're gonna be using those today to create this bar. It's going to be a Kilo Plus of shipwrecked silver, which is really fascinating. Normally we would use silver casting grain, like in this box here, but today the member on the silver forum, Mr. Dead, would like to have a Kilo Plus bar made of entirely shipwrecked silver, which I think will be the largest, in theory, shipwrecked silver bar from the Garisopa out there. So nerve-wracking times because these are premium bars and as you can see we're going to be destroying them. We're going to be chopping them up so they fit into our furnace. We're going to video the entire process today to act as kind of an authenticity for this shipwreck Kilo Plus bar. This is what we're going to use to uh, chop them up in a moment. We're going to head on over to the floor in fact to do it and then chop them up and uh, get them all melted down. Really quite nervous about how it's going to go today for a couple of reasons. One, Kilo Plus bars are scary to pour. There's a lot of molten silver there and if it goes wrong, if I drop it or if it doesn't work, we really only get one shot at these so it's quite nerve-wracking from my point of view. Also I don't know how the bars are going to come out and look at the other side because traditionally I found that silver casting grain, like this, tends to yield slightly cleaner and better results with ripples and things. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any discernible difference between the shot and these bars. So that has my nerves racing as well. Hopefully though, it'll all turn out all right and uh, there's only really one way to find out and that's to crack on with the process. So I'll see you down on the floor so we can chop up these bars. So the first thing that needs to be done is to chop up the silver bars because at the moment they are just a little bit too big to fit directly into the graphite melting crucible so we need to make them a decent size and also we need to aim for around 35 ounces for this big kilo plus bar because 40 is just a little bit too big for the mold that we've got planned so to chop them up we are going to be using these big chunky bolt cutters they do the job really well although you do need to put a little bit of elbow grease in there to get them all chopped up so we're going to aim to have three bits in each bar and I'll just chop these up and see you at the other end. is all chopped up. Hopefully we can get 35 rough ounces into this graphite crucible and uh, the next step is of course getting it all melted. Okay so having played a little bit of silver tetris with this graphite crucible we've got the majority of the shipwreck silver in there. We've got three bits left over which haven't quite fit in yet. That's not a problem though we can drop these in when all of the rest of the silver there has melted down. We've got two little bits left over which will be saved for another time to create a smaller shipwreck silver bar but today it's all about achieving a kilo plus 32.15 ounces is the minimum which is why we've got 35 ounces in here so that we can guarantee that we're going to be over that kilo number it's not about hitting exactly a kilo today it's about getting a nice looking bar that is over a kilo so all that's left to do is get it all melted down here it is ready to go so i'm going to pop that in the furnace and then we're going to drop these in once all that's melted and then of course the moment of truth pouring the first ever Backyard Bullion Shipwreck Silver Kilo Plus Bar. Okay, so the silver has melted in the furnace and now we're going to add the extra pieces of silver that didn't fit in the first place. And as you can see, you can just quite simply drop them in and they will melt down relatively quickly because they're nice big chunky pieces of silver and silver being such a great conductor, it really does happen quite quickly that it melts. Now. I don't think we're going to fit the third one in just now because when you put the silver in 
the entire temperature of the unit goes down and it's just solidified a little bit there. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes, put the last piece in, and then we are there ready to pour the big kilo bar. Okay, ladies and gents, moment of truth. The silver is at the right temperature, 1050 degrees. The mold is nice and hot. So there really is nothing left to do except pour this big old bar of silver. Pretty nervous, hopefully it'll all turn out all right. Here we go. turned out pretty well I have to say there's a lot of graphite pollution graphite schmutz on the bar but that will all come off with a nice vinegar bath and uh, a little bit of elbow grease and um, yeah I'm really chuffed with that now from experience uh, we're gonna leave that in there to cool down a fair bit because this whole unit this whole mold is going to be so hot to uh, to touch we've got most of that silver out in fact that's all that's left in the crucible so from that perspective I think we're well over a kilo which is really good and um, that will go back in the furnace with the remaining lumps of shipwreck silver at some point in the future I can feel the heat radiating off here I have to be very careful so yeah that went well okay so I will catch you back over on the silver bench and we can see what the end result really was so here we have the final results, the first kilo plus piece of shipwrecked poured backyard bullion silver. In fact, it came out to 1,075 grams. So not only is it the first piece of shipwrecked silver I've ever poured, but it's also the current record holder for the largest piece that I've ever made. So I'm really happy with the way it's turned out as well. As I said throughout this whole video, you really do only get one shot with these big bars. You saw how difficult it was for me to chop up those 10 ounce bars. Imagine having to repurpose this giant piece of silver and trying to chop it up or melt it down again. That would be beyond my capabilities here. So to have it come out looking like this with the one shot deal we have is so, so fortunate. And I'm really grateful to the silver gods for allowing this to happen. It's really very fulfilling to get it looking this good. I hope Mr. Dead, you like this too. And I hope all of you guys out there are enjoying this. It looks really good next to its cousin here, number one that we poured for LR103 over on the forum. Oh, really happy with the way these are looking. Now, next steps for this bar is to have it hallmarked and assay tested. So we're gonna send it up to the Edinburgh assay office and they will put on it a laser etched hallmark, a big five mil laser etching hallmark, really deep hallmark. You can really feel it with your finger. And then we will be stamping it with some particulars, the KG Plus series. We will be naming the bar. I think Mr. Dead has already settled on the name Oceanus, but I thought it might be fun if there are any other names that you guys think would be cool, appropriate, or just a funny name do comment down below. I know Mr. Dead will get a good chuckle for some of those suggestions. And then the serial number will be KG plus 002 as it's the second kilo plus thing that we've ever made. 1,075 grams, 909 fine silver, the BYB logo and 2019. Then we are going to, I think, stamp somewhere on this bar the fact that it's made of the shipwreck silver and will be, of course, using this video as that kind of evidence that this bar is the first ever kilo plus Shipwreck silver bar, we think. I don't think anybody's made any out of the Garisopa bars before, uh, which is a pretty cool thing and a nice kind of addition to this bar's story. And you just think about the story that the silver that's in this bar has gone through. You know, it's been traveling all around the world to then rest at the bottom of the sea for 60 years, 70 years, and then to be dredged up, melted into some 10 ounce bars, sent all around the world to come to my table to be chopped up, melted down and put into this form. That's pretty cool. I have to say that is pretty cool. And it really, I think, I think it just honors the silver and the silver's journey that uh, this bar has taken, which is very cool. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section about this bar, about a name for it, about what you think about the kilo plus pieces that we're making here. There will be more. And if you would like to commission a kilo plus piece of 
backyard bullion hand poured silver we are taking commissions we've currently got what have we got now we've got three more kilo pluses in the pipeline so it seems like the next couple of weeks videos will be kilo plus style pause and videos but uh, if you would like to commission one please do get in touch it's a little bit of a complicated process in terms of uh, a pricing hallmarking supplying the silver buying the silver and things like that so get in touch and we can put you with all of the information that you need to know about these how to commission them and everything and uh, I think they're pretty special so if you'd like one let me know otherwise last thing to say is as always if you enjoyed today's video putting a thumbs up on it and commenting really helps everything that we do here on our channel with the YouTube algorithms and uh, generally speaking, if you'd like to see more videos from ourselves, then please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to get notifications when we upload videos, make sure you hit that alarm bell. Otherwise, I'll leave you with this final image of the two cousins sitting next to each other, the two kilo plus bars we've done so far. I don't want to send them away. I love them too much, but I know I have to. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Mr. Dead, for the faith and just inspiration to pour these bars because without you we wouldn't have even got the furnace to do these in the first place so a huge thank you to you that's it hope you have a fantastic week ahead as always please make sure that you like share comment and subscribe for more